right, welcome back to Mad Cardigan in this playthrough of Hogwarts Legacy with the lovely Georgia Pumpkin. And today we are going to uh, start off by purchasing a broom at Spent Witches. Ah, new face, wonderful. Nice little store. Oh, always li like a chest. Okay. Hello, Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. Had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned, thankfully with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare yew weavers available. Ember dash, silver arrows, wind wisps too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. All right. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. What are we looking for today? Let's see what we've got here. Nothing to sell. Ember dash. Moon trimmer, wind wisp. That item go. is of the highest quality. Ooh, Lordy, looks like it's on fire. Hey, it's good to me. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements? Go on. Ha! Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct the broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Reyes, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Reyes will sort you out. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. Alrighty, will do. Ooh, that looks like a legendary item. Good. Can't help but admire Mr. Weeks's enthusiasm. Sorry to cut you off there, Georgia. Check out the quest real quick. Okay, so that's just to make our broom faster. Uh, Professor Sharp, he wants a focus and an iridus. Okay. Looks like we need to do this next, so let's go find this. As far as main quests go. Goodness, this map is so confusing sometimes. Uh, looks like that one's the closest. Okay. Let's go find Professor Weasley, see if she's got something for us. No running in the hallway. He's always, always looking for XP.
Professor Weasley? <sighs> Somewhere away from prying eyes. Magic door. Alrighty. It's kind of like the Undercroft. Just up higher. Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I. Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? After you, Professor. Yeah, you first. I don't know what's in there. This is the Womb of Requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now, where is Deke? He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. <sighs> There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. All right, no problem. Splendid. Now, cast Evanesco on those chairs. Okay, let's assign this spell. I have a couple of other places here, so let's just stick... Oops, I want to stick that. Excellent work. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. Yep, those little rocks we've been shooting all Merlin's over the place. Where in Merlin's name is that elf? Merlin's beard. Is that... goodness? My old school bag. I wondered where that had got to. I can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Yes, Professor. <gasps> Dear me. Can't you keep it down? Some of us are trying to rest. <laughs> but it's got a hoarding problem in here. This isn't as precarious as it looks. An intruder! Stop them! No, not... Uh, that's not helpful, you worthless pile of tin! Pull yourself together. Get a lot of moonstone here. Lanterns. 
lit these things off a few times. Those things are cool. Heat from the flames inside makes them rise. How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? It's not that bad. What was that? Was that a golden snitch? It is. Perhaps you should summon your wits and find out. <laughs> Hilarious. Okay, so. Never works on the first try. Good buggy. Believe you me, that one took me a while to figure out the first time. I hope that house self can find us in here. Fire hazard. You're making a mess. Yikes! Careful! Huh? Oh, there you are. Wait right there. Deke will come to you. <coughs> Hello. Ah, oh, Deke. We've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The room of requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the room of hidden things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. Okay, I need a pool table over there, a wet bar on the other side. Look out. You've given yourself quite a canvas to work with. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. And it comes with its own owl. Oh, neato, we got a mask. 
You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes. The magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. Conjuring, that's a scary movie. Oh, this can't be all that bad though. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm, quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plants and brew potions in class. Okay. Sign the spell. And let's put this one over there. Whoops. <laughs> Get used to doing that. It happens a lot. Okay. Potions. Ooh, that's cool looking. Alright. And what else? We need a potting table. Stick this over here. Everybody has well, their own corner. You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. Okay. You can do a lot with this room. Um, it gets bigger, well, you'll see as we go along, but. If you're a creative Come person. Come see me as soon as you can. I've returned from a rather unproductive trip to the Ministry, hoping your time has been more fruitful than mine. You have no I idea. You should see this room, Fig. If you have a moment. Uh, sorry, Professor. I have main quest to do. Back to Professor Fig's classroom. Let's go and uh, see what he has to say. I would like to teach you Wingardium Leviosa. It can be used to levitate objects for a short time. Once you've completed a few prerequisite tasks, do see me after class. I was hoping to see you. You're back. Finally. Minister Spavin talks more than he listens. Ranted on and on about rogue dragons. Wouldn't listen to a word about goblins. Speaking of which... Listen, Professor. 
So much happened while you were away. Eldritch Diggory's portrait in the common room told me about his great niece, Helen. His great niece? Yes, she used to be an aura. Well, she took me to Azkaban to meet Anne Thisbe. You went to Azkaban? Quite an experience, but you see, Anne knew Richard Jackdaw before he died. So I had to find his ghost. Who on earth is Richard Jackdaw? He was a student here long ago. Anyway, he told me about a secret cavern. I went there, and right next to Jackdaw's skeleton, I found the missing pages. You found the pages? I did. And because Jackdaw had followed the map they contained, when I found the pages, I found the location on the map. Believe it or not, it's a room below Hogwarts. Why am I not surprised? Shall we? I was hoping you'd say that. Oh, and we'll need to bring the book. Okay. The room is called the Map Chamber, by the way, and a portrait of Percival Rackham awaits us there. Professor Rackham. I look forward to meeting him. How did this Jackdaw get the pages from the book? Evidently, Peeves stole them, and Jackdaw stole them from him. Oh, Peeves. Yeah, he's a pain. To think it was beneath us all this time. map. There's Hogsmeade. And over here, the Forbidden Forest. And, of course, Hogwarts. It's magnificent. If only you were here to see this. Hello, Professor Rackham. We've placed the book on the pedestal, as you asked. And this is my mentor, Professor Fig. How do you do, Professor Fig? And you, my young friend. See now why you needed to return with the book? I do. I also see why you refer to this room as the map chamber. That you have come this far tells me that you possess extraordinary magical ability. The potential and power of which will unlock should you prove yourself worthy. The location of each of four trials will, in time, appear on the map. Trials that will test you and give you access to invaluable knowledge. Trials that you must complete on your own. Do you recall the pensive memory you viewed in my vault in Gringotts? You and your friend Charles spoke of the port key and of trials you'd created for one who sees traces of ancient magic. Precisely. Charles is another of the keepers, a designation we gave ourselves centuries ago in light of the knowledge that we have been bound to keep hidden. Until perhaps now. So, the passage from your ruins to Gringotts, everything in the vault, the restricted section, finding this room, none of these was a trial. They were an important part of the journey, but they were not trials themselves. The fact that you have come this far, however, bodes well. The trials were designed to ensure that the power and knowledge we have kept secret for so long does not fall 
into the wrong hands. They will test your abilities, both innate and learned. But of equal importance, everything you witness as you complete the trials will inform what you choose to do with all that we share. You will need patience. The trials have much to teach you. It will take time. I'm afraid we don't have the luxury of time. We have waited this long, Professor Fig. Surely a few more. Respectfully, sir, while I do not know the secret you keep, I do know that our young friend here has seen traces... traces of a powerful dark magic being wielded by goblin kind. And we encountered an uncommonly powerful goblin wielding such magic as we prepared to leave your vault at Gringotts. We may already be too late. This is great news, indeed. Young friend, do you trust Professor Fig? I do. Then, in the light of your considerable yeah, skill and all you have already accomplished, we shall begin. You will find the location of the first trial marked on the map below you. Whilst Professor Fig may assist you in locating the trials, they may be completed only by one with our ability. Well, that shall we have a look? I know that tower. It's not far. You may have seen it yourself. It looks familiar. <laughs> Perhaps your young friend is more well-traveled than you might think. As your mentor, the least I can do is go ahead to make sure it is safe. Join me as soon as you can. I'll find you at the tower as soon as I can. Until then. Be careful, and do not tell anyone where you're going. Alrighty. Right on top of Hogwarts. My room. It's time you learned, Iglesias, the freezing spell. It is an efficient way to cool down a heated situation. But first, I will need you to complete a few tasks. Once you've done that, come and see me. Okay. Let's see. What do we need to do here? Let's check out the quests. Okay, we can meet Professor Fig. A lot of side stuff. You don't need every single spell in the game. Um, I learned, but uh, I mean, most of them are, are pretty useful and pretty neat. Let's see. Oh, that's way up there. Good thing we got a new broom. Okay, we can get pretty close. see if we can wait until the daytime you can do that in the map screen uh, just a well it, <laughs> that certainly didn't get much lighter it must have been very early morning let's uh, try that again shall we yeah, that's better okay all these side quests there is a lot to do in this game like I said Broom. Ooh, that's fancy. This looks intriguing. Like a jet. Avelia. Remember while you're rolling around up here to ask that Revelio spell, it'll clear out a lot of the map for you. All of these points are explorable. Put on the turbo.
for playing. Sorry, Miss Flu Flame. Over here. I'm busy. We're not alone. We are not. Ranrock's loyalists. Around a dozen, I can see, but could be more. Can't we operate past them into the tower? We could, but we've no idea what's in the tower. More importantly, however, I'd like to know why they're here. They've set up camp just ahead. I suggest we investigate a little before doing anything else. Let's go. Well, this isn't ideal. No, it isn't. This way. And I'd suggest we use the disillusionment charm here. No sense in announcing our arrival. Oh, yeah. Let's do that. Let's be sneaky. Make sure you get your main spells back up. Quickly after now. You do that. Okay. Sneak up, sneak up. Stay hidden and come to Talus. Well done. All right. Uh oh. Goodness, he walked right through that thing. Fella is tough. Let's try to sneak up on them one at a time. Be real sneaky about it. What was that? Oh, no, it was nothing. Not alone. You are alone. You're totally alone. Everything's fine, buddy. Something Anyhow, all of these so. games, all of their buddies just disappear or they find them dead on the ground and they're like, ah, I guess it's fine. Now, getting two guys, that's a little more. As you go along, I think there's um, spells that can... Uh, have area effect with this time. Why is it grappled? Oh, got him. Got him before he could see me. Anything over here while we're standing here? Okay. Secret nook from Ran Rock. Oh, that's on me. I will draw blood. You bitch are coming. What's that? Who's that? Put me down! Thanks, Professor Pig. That was helpful. Very nice. Okay. There we go. A little more. Looks like we're supposed to follow Professor Pig. See what he's doing. Oh, he's slow walking Rebellion. over here. Let's see if there's anything it's else to find. It's more than a mere coincidence that we encountered Ranrock's loyalists here. Looks like we found the entrance. It's locked. Not anymore. An unlocking charm. Very handy. No time now, but if you don't learn it soon enough, we can work on it back at the castle. A little thievery charm. Welcome to San Bacar's Tower. Oh. Hello, Professor. Mr. Rackham. Did you say San Bacar's Tower? I did. 
Professor Bakar is a keeper you have yet to encounter. I'm glad to see that I was correct in presuming that we would meet again soon after our last encounter. Though I surmise, based on the commotion I heard, that you did not have an easy time getting to me. We did not, Professor. We encountered goblins outside the tower. That goblins were aware of my vault is disquieting enough. But if they have also made a connection to this tower, then the threat may be greater than I thought. All the more reason for us to move forward. Downstairs, near the entry, a reservoir of ancient magic, like those you've seen before, has been unlocked. Commanded to access a doorway. I'm afraid I cannot say more. As Professor Fig cannot join you, he and I will, in time, see you back at the map chamber. Remember what you see. We're going to need to understand how Ranrock's loyalists knew about a tower that once belonged to a keeper. For the moment, however, you've more important things to set your mind to. A reservoir of ancient magic, I believe? Yes, sir. Then I shall leave matters in your increasingly capable hands. That said, be careful. I will, sir. I'll see you back in the map chamber. I don't get the reservoir do of ancient magic. Downstairs near the entry. Revelio. That looks right. Okay. Okay. I've seen this before, in Gringotts and the Restricted Section. Anything behind here? Always check behind stuff. <gasps> Limber up. Hoop. Okay. Okay. No bridge. Some stairs going down. Oh. Impressive. That must have done something. Best have a look around. Oh, okay. A lot of sleight of hand going on around here. Okay, here we go. Probably should have cleared up my inventory before we came here, but oh well. Always need those healing potions. Oh, uh, crazy floor. Georgia, run it out. There you go. Oh, lots of knights, of course. Where are you taking? Traces of ancient magic. Something must be different. Hmm, okay. Is that different? Yeah, that is different. 
Okay. Ah, there we go. Anything just lying around for me to pick up? I guess not. Wow, all those knights in the last room didn't even attack us. That's unusual. Bet you are there, aren't These you, buddy? These are never a welcome move. sight. At least I know what to expect this time. That's right. Bring it on. How do you like that, buddy? We're pretty powerful now. They never learn. Nice. Pick up the blue stuff. Okay. So I came in from there. Do I keep going? I guess. There's like a room off to the right here. What have the keepers planned for me? Oh, this is probably one of those side loop areas. Never say no. Whoa, red, red, red. Always scares you. The floor is going to drop out from under you. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Woo. Okay. I wasn't scared. Okay, keep going. Sometimes it's hard to keep track of where you've been in this. These look familiar. Whoa, okay. <laughs> Oops. Imagine that. Oh, okay. I need to get around it. Just how to do it. Still see a chest here. That's just money. It's okay. You can always use money. <laughs> Completely the wrong button. <laughs> Might as well while we're here. Examine things from both sides of <sighs> more statues. Man, okay, fine. He wasn't even facing the right way. Oh, there we go. That'll curse him. Oh my goodness, they got me. Oh my goodness, they got me again. Oh. Watch out. Oh, he hit his own buddy. <laughs> Easy on me. Sure aren't. Okay. Okay. 
seems I ought to explore this archway from both sides. Oh, there we go. Took the wall away. Cool. Okay. Since I have this over on the side, now I have to go back through it again. What did that burst of magic change on both sides of the archway? Something must be different. Oh, there it is. Okay. Now ah, we're cooking. No problem for Georgia. Big brain. I'll never get used to these floors. Whoa. Disorienting. Okay. Oh. Seriously. Even the odds, shall we? dodging these guys. And there's a bunch of them. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, goodness. He brought his buddies. Completely turn around, don't know where I am. Came down those stairs, right? <laughs> let's keep going down, let's keep going this way. Oh, okay. That one snuck up on me. Okay. Whoa, that's a little unstable. Okay, so we need to get over there. over here um nothing over there how about that okay there's something over there oh there's another one Through it this away. Now to see what's changed on each side of this archway. Oh, hang on now. Okay. So, can I jump up on that? Get 
closer. I don't want to fall off the edge. Whoa, don't fall. Okay. Hmm. Things are definitely different on either side of the archway. But how? Ooh, my eyes are crazy. Hmm. I don't guess I can pull this one through there. How about, what if I pull this one over that way a little bit, and then maybe pull Oh, there we go. What if I stood so on smart. one platform and used Akio on the other? That ought to work. Okay, catch up, George. We already figured this out. That was a little tougher. Oop. Yeah, I need that all day long. Oh, this looks awfully bossy room-ish. On the lights. Oh yeah. Yep, yeah, definitely bossy room. Plenty of wigging well. Oh, start hitting them. Come on. Watch out for the. <laughs> I love it when they land on each other. That's funny. coming out. Whoa! Some of this big time magic on him. Oh, that is not enough. Oof. 
was a little hard. George is tough. Keep her down. Still has stamina for the jog. Another pensive. Oh, and a final chest. Okay. Now before we do this, before we view the memories, because this is another long cutscene, we're going to go ahead and call that an episode today. So, thank you so much for joining uh, Georgia Pumpkin and myself on Mad Cardigan, and we will see you next time.